Habitat Restore. I'm going to go in to see if there's any jewelry that I can find to resell at my case in the Good Stuff Thrift Store slash Vintage Mall, Collectibles Mall. I forget what they call it. Um, but I'm going in now and um, I will do a haul at the end with everything I got today. So if you're a reseller and you're curious about my process, what goes to auction, what goes into a buy it now or a retail brick and mortar case situation, stay with me. Oh, wow. I love that it's not busy right now. I haven't been here for about six months. Here it is. It's a thing to behold. That's like their vintage antique section, you know, where they kind of curate. So, you know, there's always valuable things in there, collectible things, things that are known and named. All the way back here is where they keep the jewelry. And then in there, there's like stacks of plates and dishes. I have found the Moj in there. Oh, this is such a cute set. Oh, I love the color. Someone painted it. And then this, this is a, uh, oh, that's not a marble top. Okay. And then this is furniture. And then there's a case hidden over here that I want to check out first. Sometimes they keep what they think is better jewelry up here. Oh, is this table for sale? Oh, look at the buttons. Mario Cuomo. Oh, this is cool. Let's see what else is here. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. This looks like old, uh, gold filled from, oops, from the company that preceded um, Black Hills Gold, right? It could be that old. So we'll double check that. Somebody wrote in and said, what is it you're doing when you say you're checking things? And I'm checking with the loop. There's what it looks like on, pretty great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We got a leopard. Hello. We got watches here. Hello. How you doing? Good. That's Good. fun. I Is that another Seiko? Oh, for Pete's sake, I used to have this fairy watch. Yeah. It's a really good watch. Okay. You know, are you in our reward? That I might be worth picking up. That's a napkin this ring. All right. The lighting and the chair. I'll check this with the loop too. Condition, condition, condition. And belt buckles and pins. I I didn't see it marked. It was in that bin. Yeah. Okay. This is calling me. This is five and five. Those are nice. Aren't they nice? Mm -hmm. They're cleaning up really well. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's look in this case. I, I don't see a price on Oh, those are some pretty rings. We're going to look at those. And then. It's in for it. It's bigger. All right. Look at my hair. That looks like it could be something good. There's a tag on it. An owl. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's like, um, that's nice. We'll get that. I like that it's still in its case for $5. I don't even have to know what it is. It's vintage and it's pretty in its original case. Right there, that's a Monet link. You have a $5 reward. You want to redeem it now? Absolutely. Here's the rings up close. And now, oh, wow. Look at all the pins. Hey. This is great. I love the crown. This is nice. I always get these. These are beautiful. And they're getting more and more scarce. They're really good to get. Good crystal. There's another one. 
This is a vintage Kremens. There it is signed right there. This could go up to auction, but I'm going to be putting it in the case. So make sure you follow the niche lady because she puts the things from my case up for auction on whatnot. And you never know, you could get lucky. Look at the rings sure. and, and then a bunch of other stuff, but we could go, go one by one. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you for being patient. After this, I want to look at the pins. The pins? Where are they? Um, down here. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. I'm right here, so. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. That's pretty. That's 15. That's a nice Chinese peridot. That's 15. That's a possibility. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so all of these are 15. So we'll look at that with the loop. This we're definitely getting. Oh, I love the shape on that. Look. Look at that one. Hmm. Look at that one. This is like a rose gold. I have no idea, by the way, what these are still. Um, I am going to find out with the loop. I'm assuming that they are sterling with gemstones or CZs. Ooh, look at that one. This guy. All right, we'll look at that. And finally, yeah, we're going to look at that one too. Okay, so we're looking through the loop at all of these. Okay. And then that's a fake vintage. That's interesting. Hmm. And then hmm. I don't think that's anything. That's cool. This is neat. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so this is something that I haven't seen before. And every time I see something that I haven't seen, it makes me think that it's more rare or unique or special. That is pretty cool. So we're going to examine that with the loop as well. This is perfect for the case in Nevada. It's unique and different and vintage, and I haven't seen anything like it. And it's a good, everything in the case is like, it starts at 10 and goes up to maybe 125, 150. Um, I probably sell most things at 75 to 150. Thinking about sending a couple things for 200, so it might be 75 to 200. But it's good to have things like this so because if people know that they can find little things like this, they'll always come in and look and see what's there. This one and the um, the blue case there, right there. This one on top. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. You're welcome. This is 18 carat rose gold filled. So that's a no because those do not age well when they're new. This is the same thing. This is 18 carat rose gold filled. It's beautiful for right now, but they don't, they're definitely not future vintage, you know, and that's my aim. Um, if I'm looking at newer things, I want them to be future vintage. This is the same. Okay, so we'll put those three together. That looks nice. This is sterling silver and CZ. And I feel like it's just common for 15. This is sterling silver and CZ, but look how nice it's made. It's a really heavy solid ring. Like I can feel that. It's heavy. So that for $15 is a yes. And same goes 
for this one. That's beautiful, sterling silver. And it doesn't say CZ, so that could be a topaz or something. This is sterling and Chinese peridot, square cut, and it's very pretty, but it looks like it's part of something else. So, you know, it went with another ring. So we'll put that one back. This is another one that's really, really well made. Look at the side of that. So that's pretty. I think we'll get that one too. And then finally this one. This is just gorgeous. Look at that. Um, look at the cuts. The cuts on that amethyst. And marcasite. And this is vintage. This is true vintage. So we're going to get that one for 15 as well. This is what I'm getting so far. I love this. This is such a score. And they can put that back. And then we'll look at this. This is also $15. It's a three-strander. I do like the clasp. I do like the clasp. You know what, though? This feels like... Oh, I don't know. It's really beautiful. Three strands are getting harder to find. Oh, and it has the earrings, which clearly someone put these earrings with it. This might be a restring because it doesn't have the drape of an older one. Let's look at the, um, let's look there. Oh, yeah, that's a restring. We do not um, I'm going to check it with the loop and see if it's signed anywhere. Look at that. That is a really nice rhodium plating. Everything is there. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to get that for 15. That's a find. And now this beautiful thing, look at this. This reminds me of Black Hills Gold. And I think I'm just going to get it. I'm not even, well, no, I'll, I'll look at it. This is the back. I can't really see anything right now that it says, but look at that old, old class on that chain. And honestly, this box is so nice that I could pay $5 just for the box. So that's a definite yes. That's a definite yes. And the rings and the pin and this. So far, I've been here a couple minutes and I've done really well. And there's more. We're going to look in here now. And... We're also going to look back here. The one that's left. Yeah. And um, and this this crystal in the long this long one. I know it's backwards and upside down and oh this this long one. Yeah. And then the pink pin that's actually all of those. Um, the pins that are hiding back there. No, no, they're pins. Yeah, I couldn't see them at all because it was in the dark. So just bring them out into the light. And then there was one more thing. What was it? And then I'll be done. Oh, the thing in the box. Mm. That's newer. You can see by the way the crystals are set in the faceting of the glass and the back, the color of the gold and the texture. So that's a no. This is fabulous. This is genuinely old. It's a really wonderful, this is a wonderful piece, everyone. It reminds me of Eisenberg. It is war era. It could be a victory pin. This one has some age, but not the best quality. And the stones are already yellowing and it's swaged. See that? It's swaged. Is it? Maybe not. No, it's not actually. Okay. But no, this is pretty crystal. Take a, take a better look at this for condition. These earrings make it for $5. Yeah. That's a yes. Two pieces, six dollars. Oh, I like it already. 
Oh my. I don't know. I don't know what else is in here. The earrings. Oh, the earrings are the earrings are cool. Yes, these are great. These are great for the case in Nevada. That is a perfect example of what I'm looking for today. Everything that I got there, the four rings, the crystal set, the wood set, the Kremen spangle, which could have gold content. It really could. Um, it was two-tone. It looked like it. And uh, for the age, it really looked like it. So stay tuned for the haul coming up at the end to see if that was gold. Um, but everything that I got cost $94. And I have $5 off of my next purchase. So really, 89 Okay. There's a lot here. Um, I don't remember it being. Well, I haven't been here for so long. This is an old Sarah Cove. That's cute. That's good. That's good for the case. This is Halolite. Oh, that's all one piece on the rope. Okay. What's this? Oh, look at the old chain. Oh, we're going to say yes to that. That's, that's good for the case. Um, how do we know how much? Oh, this five. That's three. Okay. Let's keep going. That's a shortener. This is a torsade that someone put together on a shortener. Those are all individuals. And these are gemstones mixed in here. So that is a real score. Oh my gosh, it could even be old Joan Rivers mixed in, but definitely there's some gemstone here. Okay, that's possibly the score of the day. Okay, that's weird. That's on ribbon. That's pretty. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything now. See, this is like the worst of the worst cheapo cheapo. This, what is this? There's a tag here. If it doesn't feel right, it's probably Avon. That's old. Oh, hot pink. No. Slinky, vintage slinky chain. Three dollars. That's useful. We'll look at that. Are these more chains? Oh, that's a multiple okay this is nothing that is nothing that is mardi gras that is very lightweight plastic and this looks like something but it is nothing okay let's do all of this <laughs> i need something to put the jewelry on hmm Oh, look at all the ribbon. Okay, let me uh, let me get something here. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. Look at this little red envelope with the striped tablecloth. Okay. I'm noticing all of these jewelry boxes. Oh, look at this pretty blue one. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's weird. This leather one is nice. Come here, you. Kind of an old man's. Oh, no, it's not nice inside. This is kind of small. I feel like I'm going to need something bigger. That could work. It's 
check out. Okay, so there's a lot of baggies. That's an old Christmas pin. We'll do those last. My process is to look for the hidden things and grab them. You know, first thing like this. This is hidden. This is amethyst and blue lace agate. Faceted, beautiful. I see some peridot in there. There's a glass bead. That looks like it's sterling. And that is $4. Beautiful. Perfect for the case. This, I would keep this. And anytime I find something I want to keep, I know it's really good. <laughs> Look at it. There it is. I love it. Oh, I love it. This is hand beaded. It's beautiful. Mm, it's not unique enough. I mean, it's just, it's the color rate could be better. That's Jasper. That's beautiful. We'll get that. Nothing special. Very new. This, see the toggle? The toggle caught my eye. It's kind of worn. Hmm. It is worn. Yeah, I think it's a little tired. I think it's a little tired. We'll put that one back. That's amber. Oh, this is a multi, this is a multi strand, everybody. Look at this. Look at the drop. Um, loving, loving for two dollars. This is so beautiful. Someone made this. I love the clasp. Okay, wait until you see that. Oh, you know what? There's a bust right here. Hello. Look at that. And then this is how it hangs in the back. Beautiful. That'll be in the case. Oh. And this, I might keep. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a soft spot for the really big amber chunks. <gasps> Score. Okay. All right. Now I'm getting crazy. I don't know where to go next. All right. I'm going to be methodical. That's nothing. What is this? It's someone's project. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start grabbing stuff and going over after. All right. Plastic. Oh, yes, this is such a good one. Look at it. Let's see, thicker on one side. That's a yes. Don't even have to check it. This is one of those little prayer box things. This is interesting. That, that will check. These we don't need to check. This we don't need to check. That we don't need to check. This one. That's real pearls. We will check that. Stretchy. This could be Bakelite. Probably not. Let's check. I tell by the weight. No. I will like it. No. Oh, hi. Look at this fun thing. Old charm monogram charm bracelet. Oh, yes. These are fantastic. I love that flat heart. And, oh, it's monogram jumbo tape. That's really cool. This is cool. This we really don't have to check either. These we do have to check. This we don't have to check. It would not be gold plated. You could tell just by the weight. This... <laughs> this is great. This is so nice. These are two dollars. Okay, I'm gonna check that with the loop just to share with you. What is this? A little costume charm brace that looks like New York. 
Is that New York? Oh, it's Washington. Okay, that's a yes. This is pretty crystal. This is just someone's supply, really. Someone made that. The pink is fun. Okay. So these are things to go over, right? But I'm not going to do it now because I'm feeling like I have to do all this before someone else comes. So we're going to put all this in the cart. These are cute little perfume bottles. What is this? No, very cheap. Anything in here? Oh, a bracelet, buddy. Oh, a bracelet, buddy. Wow, it really is. Look at it. It's in its package. We'll get that. <laughs> That's vintage. That looks like it could be good. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't feel as good as I expected it to. Let's see what it says. If we can find out who made it. Okay, so hanging from the hook, see that? That MM, that stands for Mars Moskowitz. He made women's accessories and very good belts in the 70s, and that's what that is. So I think we're going we're gonna to put it in the case, I mean in the cart, and then decide when we come up with how many things. Oh, look at all the mother of pearl hearts. Look at that clasp. Oh, oh. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the clasp. This is awesome. This is going into the case, everybody. This is wonderful vintage. What in the world else is here? Look at that. It's black glucite. Look at that. That's a score. Beautiful. What is that? That's... That's wood. That's black plastic. That's nothing. See that? See that's like plastic coated fading. This is crystal. That's pretty. Not special enough. No. This looks like something. What is this? Ah, oh, that's cool. And it looks like it's on, uh, like an old Monet, old Monet or better chain. Stay tuned to find out what this is. I have a feeling about that one. That's interesting. It feels, doesn't feel right. Not good enough. You know, it's an art. You have to know, it has to be something that you feel like you would wear right away. Like, this is cool. I could see wearing this. Handmade porcelain by Carol Holmey. That's cool. That's going in. That's one of a kind. You know, that's definitely a great find for a resale case. And right next to it is this. And that is pretty glass. Very pretty glass. I love that. All right, that's going in. All right, we'll put it in here. Look at all this. Never expected it. I'm going to do a loop now around the rest of the store. We are officially now in like the antique vintage area of this store remember this is a thrift store and suddenly it's looking like an antique shop right i love these shelves look at these shelves do you see the shape they're not for sale they're amazing they're amazing okay um these are cool all of these look at this entire set of that oh look at this a little cottage butter dish. Are you Majolica? See, I'm learning. All right. Maybe not. Probably not. But I'm going to check it. Um, 
Okay, now this is thirteen dollars. This is everybody's favorite jewelry box. They stopped making it a long time ago. Look, it's brand new. These these are scarce. They're rare and hard to find. Everyone wants to know where I got mine. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna buy this and sell it. I'm gonna you know, and then whoever wants it, just keep in mind, keep in mind that there's shipping involved, okay? Because that is definitely going to be shipping. I do know how to ship things, but it's still going to be shipping. So I'm turning the corner, and I'm looking, because I always have a dish pattern that I look for, and I'm kind of scanning. Do you see what my eye caught? It's in frame right now. See if you can guess what it is. It's that. These, my friends, are the score of the month. Look at that gorgeous, glossy, thick, mid-century lucite stacking wine rack. Let's get the other one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like this. It's like a neutral twelve. Okay, not vintage. Oh, I forgot. This is where they keep all their like cool things. Oh, look at that sunny yellow. Look at that sunny, sunny, sunny yellow. Oh boy, this is pulling me in. Oh ho ho. My stone. Well, this is fantastic. Lemon. It's called lemon. Wow. Look. $24, 40 pieces. $24, 40 pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. Antique section. Oh, this is like an army phone. That's cool. Oh, look at that. McDonald's. This is what I wanted to get to. This little thing by itself. It's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. All right, I'll get it. This is nice. This is a box. Oh. What is this? And handle with care. I love this. The handle with care. Oh, they're for envelopes. I'm getting that. That's wonderful. Wonderful. And there's something on it. Okay. Oh, so it probably came out of an antique store. Oh, no. 612. That was like the original shopkeepers. Oh, I left my bag. Right in. This is this is it. this is awesome. This is I can't believe what's happening here. Look at this. <laughs> How fun is this? I want a bunch of jewelry, and I'm putting it in the in the case after she after she adds it up. Got in there. Okay. Your fives are taken care the of. The fives are done. The fives. Three. We'll put the fives. One. This, this fish guy. And there. Four. Oh my God, that was so much fun. I didn't expect to spend $200. I spent $200. 13 on the jewelry case, six on the loose site, and five on the stamps, and everything else was jewelry. And it was the perfect place to go to find things for my case in Nevada. I have a jewelry case um, in the Good Stuff Thrift Store in Las Vegas, Nevada, if you want to go check it out. It's doing good. And I sell things there starting at 10 and going up to like 150. And I'm going to be sending something. I'm going to try 200 and see what happens. And also Danny, the niche lady, does her jewelry whatnot sales and she auctions things off from the case too. So make sure you're following her if you're not already. 
and she has Denise Lady on YouTube and on whatnot. So normally what I do is I look at everything with the loop before I buy it, but I didn't do it this time because it was just building up. And the few things that I risked, you know, they're $3 and $5. So um, I was okay doing that. And what I'll do is in the haul, which is coming up next, I will show you everything and why I should have gotten it or should have not gotten it. And I will explain if it's going to auction or if it's going to the case in Nevada in the buy it now. And I will explain my thoughts why. And that's coming up when I get home and I get unpacked. I'll see you when I get there. I'm gonna start with this first and then all the, uh, the jewelry. Um, so I researched this and I don't know if it's Majolica or Price Brothers, which is English. Um, it looks, the bottom really reminded me of Majolica. So if anybody knows, please let me know. Um, I think there it's a cheese plate, actually, not a butter dish. And see the windows, they look very, the windows are key. Um, the way that this is drawn, I think that helps. And also the center chimney with the hole in it. So there you go. So that, um, depending on what this is, it can start at like $40, $45 and then go up depending on how collectible it is. Now let's do the jewelry. This is from the first counter. All of these rings tested as quartz. That tested as quartz. Well, this one tested as amethyst. This one I love from the side. That tested as quartz. And this one tested as quartz also. See the step design, really nice sterling made. I'm not surprised. And then this is amethyst. Okay, I'm sending all of these to the case. This is indeed from the 1940s. That is a pot metal back, and that is what's um, all open back foiled. Really, really nice, really good quality rhinestone here. So it really does remind me a lot of early Eisenberg when they were still making pins for their clothing, and it might be. This little pendant I just love so much. Here is the back of him. He's totally different and unique, and I haven't seen anything like him before. And he's all articulated. All right, there's his little ring, so he hangs like, like that. This was a find. This is early early, early crystal and faux pearl. And what I love about it is the matching earrings that someone probably made later. But I haven't seen earrings in a shape like this using the crystal beads. So that's quite beautiful. All right. And I will be sending that. This one, <laughs> what's not to like? Oh my goodness. Look how great this is. All right, nice clasp and the earrings. And these are new, never worn. So awesome. This is gold felt. It is signed Kremens right there. Very easy to see. Kremens is a great vintage mark to find. They made gold filled 10 carat and 14 carat. And they didn't always mark which was which. So if you see something like this, you just have to pick it up because, I mean, you can do a magnet test. I didn't think of doing it there because Goldfield is magnetic, but it doesn't matter. It's still old vintage cremants and it's beautiful and it's, uh, it's relevant. You know, you can wear that today. This was a lovely find. So this turned out to be sterling and 14 karat gold it is marked on the clasp in the back it's really pretty these are little diamond illusions in the white gold or the white here 
but this one is probably the tiniest, tiniest little diamond, you know, so they could say with diamond, right? But it's a, it's a beautiful vintage piece in its original box. This I also got. This was $13. Everybody wants these. Um, there it is. The bracelet buddy. This still has its original item number, J something. That's an old item number from, I think, HSN. So this is true vintage, and they're really useful. I still have mine that I've had for like 20 years. So that'll be in the case. And now, look at all of this. Okay, where do we start? Okay, we'll start with this one. So this, um, these are real pearls and these little uh, clamper beads here are sticking to the magnet. So I have to test further because look, it's on this really nice chain. You see that? You see how nice that's made? So this could be sterling and pearls um, with some not sterling little findings. So I'm gonna test that before I send it off but um, it's pretty, it's, it's a, it's a high-end looking bracelet. This one, so this turned out to be a travel charm bracelet, mostly, and there is a vintage Walt Disney Productions Cinderella's Castle. Wait, is that the one? See, there's all these, there's the, there's all these modes of transportation. The little buggy and the train. There it is right there. Look at that, and it's so old. There's the mark. This, I love, this is one of a kind. So the reasoning for the case is whenever you see one of a kind, something that someone made, you know that the person looking at it, if they love it, they're not gonna be able to find another one anywhere. And that is the case with this. This is one of a kind, kind of handmade. And it's, uh, you know, it shows some intelligence, some sophistication there. See the little spirals? This, this also counts as a score. This is beautiful jasper and gemstone. This is um, after the Swarovskis of the time or the Chanel's. It's very chiclet shaped and this is black lucite. Okay, so, but still fantastic for the case. This was actually in the front. Look how great this is. This has one problem, it's missing a thing, but it's vintage copper, um, great clasp on it, and it's a little small. So that we can put in the case for whoever fits it. This is one of the scores of the day. Look at this. Blue lace agate, giant chunks of blue lace agate, amethyst, peridot, um, Gorgeous. Oh, these are glass. These are all, this is all one bead. I've seen that used before. So that's lovely. These are real Baroque pearls and this is marked stainless steel. So these, depending on what they are and who made them or whatever, they're fashionable um, and they can be pretty high end. This was a good pickup. This one, ooh la la, I thought this was amber. It is not, this is all gemstone. This is um, agate and uh, hematite. This tested as hematite. And then there's some quartz in there. So this is, uh, this is, this is fantastic. This is a very boutique item and that's going in the case. This, the little prayer box, now these are round. So with this, my thinking is I might make it, I might put it into a mystery bag. 
um, you know, maybe with a few other things. Okay, this one, the woman who checked me out fell in love with this. It is really cool. Look at the big crystals on the bottom. Okay, the old, um, the old curb chain. So something like this, the, uh, the thought process with this is, it's not vintage enough to be at auction, but it is future vintage. You know, it's still kind of new. Now, this one definitely can be auctioned. This is um, um, from the 1970s. It's someone's art. And it's kind of having a renaissance right now. Things like this are very in. They're wearing all of the, um, you know, those nubby knits, you know, the loose fitting nubby kind of hemp, you know, burlap -y silk waffle, you know, it's all very, uh, uh, very relaxed right now. And this kind of jewelry goes very well. So this is of the moment. I love this one. Oh, you know what? I'll probably put this in a bag with this. I'll probably get a bag together, starting with these bracelets. This one tests at, as quartz, everyone. I wasn't surprised. Um, I kind of had a feeling when I was holding it in the store. So that's um, quartz and also gemstone. Um, it's, uh, I think it's an agate. No, it's a quartz. They're all testing as quartz, that, that's right. This is old Sarakov. So you can find this around, um, but they're, you know, they're getting harder to find and it's, uh, you know, it's got both of its pearls and it's in very, very good condition. Condition is everything. So this is really nice. This will go into the case. This one, okay, so this is a very old Monet. Look at that. It's got some enamel loss. But it's, this I always think is newer than it is. I always think 1970s and it turns out to be like, you know, late 50s into the 60s, this white enamel. So a very nice kind of novelty piece. I'm sure they made very few of these. So this is a nice little find. I got this because it's useful. I love, I just love the shape of the chain. Always pick up chains like this, honestly, they're useful. You know when they're unique like that and that's a pretty color a pretty vintage color this is genuine amber this i am keeping that definitely counts as one of the scores of the day these earrings look how pretty these are these little these little shell mermaid earrings these are so cute oh you know what i'm gonna put these in the mystery bag Let's put this, that'll be the mystery bag department. I'll add to it too. So you have to go into the store to see what's in there. I do mystery bags there, everybody. Okay, this I fell in love with. This is so cool. Look at this. This is like the real deal, vintage. Um, I love the shapes. It reminds me of old customized Lillian Vernon. Great old charm bracelet though. And these you can take off and put them on fob chains and they will look incredible. And it's a really nice gold plating. This is a bag of pearl and sterling that I will be using. That won't make its way to the case. This, okay, so Joan Rivers did these, I forgot to check this. Joan Rivers did these shorteners. So let's check that first. not seeing a mark anywhere it's nice though it feels good it feels like it's a really good quality shortener and that's how it works and then these um this is uh this was formed into a torsade that's how it was worn back in the day and the um what it makes of right now is faux pearl red glass rose quartz, some kind of dyed agate, 
and hematite. So that's kind of fun. And then the modern way to wear it is kind of looser. So let's loosen it up. Okay. You hang the one side in and then the other side. And you close it up. And then a looser version is something like that. See, much, much more modern. And then you could even like put the this on the side. And that is definitely one of the scores of the day. Last piece, I think this is also a favorite. So this is very old. I've never seen a clasp like this before. Pushes in, right, and then clicks. And it's that old gilt brass. Look at the detail. And then all of these beautiful old mother of pearl hearts. Now I know a jewelry designer will look at these and think, oh my God, there's so much I can do with this. This is like gold. But I'm hoping that whoever gets this keeps it together because it's old and it's not damaged. You know, it's not broken, so you can't fix it. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for watching. The few pieces that are at auction will be coming up. I do auctions Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can text Hello Dawn at 917-809-7250 to get free auction alerts when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up. And this is coming up in the future. These few pieces that were good at auction will be coming up in the future. Otherwise, everything's going to be in the good stuff thrift store on Decatur in Las Vegas, North Decatur on, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for watching. Bye.